Hey everybody. The other day I was talking with a friend of mine about food storage and stocking your pantry for you know an emergency situation. A lot of folks are having trouble getting their mind around how much of or what kind of things to buy. And a lot of folks have a limited space to store it in. We're not all lucky enough to have a root cellar or, or you know a full size basement, which that's fine. Um, so I got thinking, when I go hiking, I have the same considerations. I've got limited space, and I have to eat. Plus, everything that I have with me is on my back, in my pack. So I put the two together and got to thinking, when I go hiking, I'll plan each meal for the number of days that I'm going to be out, and then go from there. So if I'm going to be on a three-day hike, I need three days of breakfast, three days of lunch, three days of supper. Of course, some high energy snacks too for hiking. So if you're planning on a pantry for a stay at home emergency, however many days you want to plan for, you know, you can choose. Look at, try to go at it from this, this angle. Let's say you're going to shelter in for seven days. Okay, that's seven breakfasts, seven lunches, and seven suppers. Now I can, uh, I can plan for a different meal each day, you know, for each one of those meals, or I can double up. If I double up, you know, I don't want to eat oatmeal all seven days for breakfast, but I could eat it two or three of those before I would get the food fatigue or just get tired of eating it. Same as for lunch and supper. So in our scenario here, we've got seven days we're planning for. We decide how many meals we need. Let's say we can, we can do the oatmeal three times for breakfast. Um, for lunch, you can do the maybe a can of soup. And of course you can get different flavors of you know the soup. And you can have one of those different each day. Or you can eat a bigger lunch or something smaller. But now this the big example I'm going to show you is for supper. I've got seven suppers that I know I need to stock food up for. I'm going to say I can eat chili two days out of those seven before I start getting tired of it. So I've decided now chili twice in that one week period. So I look at my recipe. One meal of chili takes a can of diced tomatoes, a can of beans, a seasoning packet, and a pound of ground beef. That's for one night's supper of chili. Then I just double it and that gives me the two separate nights. Maybe I could eat it on Monday night and then Thursday night or Friday night. And you would do the same with any other meals you're planning. So you take your number of meals, your recipes you're going to use, and then from the recipes you write down the ingredients you're going to need and then multiply them by the days you're going to eat those meals that last number that you get can be your inventory number for your pantry as you go to the grocery store buy stuff that's on your list and then check them off until you till you know you have enough for each one of those meals that way you've got a plan a meal plan a plan of attack so you know I've got enough ingredients for seven days worth of food. I'm not going to do a haphazard meal where I end up with all my recipes so short of ingredients that I'm two days without a regular meal. You know, you, you can always mix stuff together that, you, that doesn't really normally go and, and have food, but, but this way you're going to cover having enough ingredients to make your recipes. Having enough recipes to keep from getting food fatigue and just dreading supper time or lunch or oh here comes another breakfast same old same old plus you're gonna have an inventory list made for your pantry to know what to keep stocked you'll know when you're low and of course you know everybody knows first in first out and only buy what your family eats um, and this was just an idea I had to because so many people were having trouble getting the right mindset of what I need to buy where do I start 
and the easier we can make it folks the easier it is to get started and of course the more people that are prepared the better off we all are i hope this gives some insight and uh, some people get some use out of it everybody stay safe